in the previous video we talked about what is exception and what is exception handling now in this video we'll talk about exception stage exception stage is used to throw an exception explicitly with customized and meaningful information even you can use this exception stage to rethrow this exception we'll talk about this rethrow how to rethrow the exception in upcoming video exception stage is also used to throw business exception you can use it this anywhere in your object studio and process studio let me show you practically how to do this we are on the initialize page let me delete this and you know just to you know explain this example like how to throw business exception and how to throw this any exception explicitly with the customized way so let me take one decision stage here in the initialize and here I'm going to write if number 5 equals to number 5 and I will write 5 equals to 5 click OK and I will connect this link this also now if this is 5 equals to 5 then it will go to yes if no then what if no then I want to throw an exception so we'll take this exception stage here now you can see here we have exception 1 the name of this exception stage is exception 1 so we'll double click on that change the name that I want to throw an exception so this name will be the that exception name so we'll write here this is for you can put description also why we are going to apply this one here in the exception type you know we have exception type like system exception business exception like that but if you see there are multiple exceptions that is a part of system exception because system exception is the main class if any errors occur in your project that can be captured by system exception if you just click on this drop down and you can see there are multiple exceptions we are getting here basically the main exception that is system exception that will capture all the exceptions here you can put your own exception type also let's say if you want to write business exception you can write here but let me show you for this one exception system exception here we need to write that exception details so what we can do we can put here we can put here hard coded value or we can use a data item also so how can you do that you can click on this expression editor and here you can see you can type that exception details in the double quotation you will write here 5 is not equals to 5 right or what you can do you can also take one data item text and you can store that text in that data item and you can use that data item here now click OK and you can see here we have to write exception details in the double quotation because that is expression and exception type is not expression so no need to type this in the double quotation you can also see here these are not in the double quotation now we'll talk about these things one by one basically this save screen capture is used to capture the screen it means it will take the screenshot but that will store in the database you can view from there but currently i have not seen any any location where i can find out this screen capture but if you have an idea if you were able to find that please let me know in the video comments now click ok and now link this so currently as per this steps what will happen it will go to and it will not go to this and let me change the name that is uh, 5 equals to 6 press ok and then step step and then you can see it will throw an error that is system exception 5 is not equals to 5 
so by this way we can throw this error so currently what i am trying to show you that exception stage is used to throw an exception in a customized way instead of predefined error message you can show a custom exception message now if you want to show this as a business exception you have to write here you just need to delete this and you can manually write here business exception and run this and now you can see this is business exception 5 5 is not equals to 5 I will show you the real time example that we have used the Centrix data solutions and in this one as of now we have seen how to use a wait stage here to allow a business object to pause for an application but we have not considered here what to do if our wait stage times out currently we are just linking both things with our next stage but that is not the best practice it means if our boat is trying to find any application if that is not available after given a specific time or time then we should throw an error that this is not available we should not go to the next one because if that is not available it will throw an error in the both scenario so what we need to do in the object studio now we need to take exception here and we'll link this timeout here and what we need to do this is login action so we'll write here and then click ok you can increase the just size of this stage now here also we are on the login page and after click on login button it is going to the home page so we can take one more exception stage and we can link here that if after login if that home page is not loaded after 5 it means here you can see after 10 second if that is not loaded that is not visible then we can say login not successful or home page did not load something like that we can understand if this home page not loaded it means application not logged in successfully now if we'll go to the read reference in this also we are taking this here wait for confirmed that pop up so we can take one more exception stage link this double click on and click ok we'll go to the go to orders now here we have wait for orders this is for wait for orders menu so we'll take one more exception stage and then we'll link this here click ok now we'll go to the go to new orders we'll take one and one more exception stage here now we'll link both here link this timeout with this one now this is for wait for orders menu so same thing we can apply here instead of doing that uh, we can take this one orders menu and we can reuse this one And here this is for wait for new orders page now we'll go to the close now here you can see we'll take one more we'll link this timeout with the exception now in this scenario 
after clicking on exit button if exit button is still available then it will go and terminate that if this is not available it means exit performed successfully it means in this scenario no need to connect this one because if that's that is not available so no need to throw a timeout error so we can directly link this go to add now in the add new orders if you see here we are not taking anything any uh, wait stage here we are directly taking wait stage that is a static so we have set up that one now if you see here let me uh, change the time here in the wait I will put here 0 0.5 and save this process studio and then click on refresh and click on go and you see here this time this is not loaded this login page not loaded so we are getting one exception that is login page did not load on the requested time at the requested time so that's why we are getting this error so by this way we can use this exception stage to throw an error and we can throw a customized error message there